I am recording this and I'll send it out. And to be honest with you, this is a piece of gold that I found on the internet. So I have a guest speaker via YouTube and um, it is a super cool tactic that was brought up in one of the coaching groups that I'm in. <clears throat> and I think it's super valuable. So um, I'm going to play the YouTube video and we can chat afterwards. Um, if you guys have any questions on it, I think it's really cool. Perfect. Today I get to share with you Here we the go. most impactful thing you can do for your business. This is not something I'm thinking would work. This is something that worked in my business and is working in other agents that I work with right now. Stay tuned and I'll give you exactly how you're going to grow your business this year. Well, I've told this story so many times that I almost can just say it in my sleep, but I, I can't help but tell this story because this is one of the most impactful things I ever did in my business. And it has such a tale, as you're going to hear, that literally the actions you do today, very few things we do in our real estate business, if we do something today, we got to do something else tomorrow to make sure that we keep momentum. These have the opportunity that if we do it today, years in advance, people will come back to this and give us the opportunity to do more business with them. So I'm going to talk about doing video unsolicited CMAs. The biggest thing that we have right now in our market, in any market, is a lack of inventory in 90% of the markets. It's a place where hey, we need more listings. And literally, what's happening is, is the prices are escalating in some places at such a fast pace that sellers and owners don't have any idea what's going on and how high their value is. I did a couple of these recently, and the response back to the emails were, are you kidding that my value is that high? And... I'll just tell you this, literally as I'm shooting this, I've done seven of them in the last three weeks and under contract because some of them sold and then bought in new listings and also contracts I have and that have closed in the last eight weeks, basically, I've got almost $8 million that's happened to me and I don't even really sell anymore. So I can't wait to share this with you. Let's start with the understanding of what this is. I want to, we're going to specifically target people that have either told you they were thinking about selling in the next year or two, people that you sold to in the past, or people that maybe are owners. If you, you know, start with the people that have told you they might sell in the next couple of years. That's your highest, that's your lowest hanging fruit. The second group is obviously past clients or people that have you've done business with in the past that you're just giving an update to that you aren't sure exactly where it is. Also, then anybody that you know that's a homeowner, that's your three impactful ways. Let me just tell you the story of what I did. I took this group of people and I said, I want to do one per day in the last quarter. The last quarter that I was in sales was in the last fourth quarter of 2018. I worked 72 days in that last quarter. Listen, there were some days for holidays, obviously, and some weekends. And so what I did is each day I did one of these where I recorded my screen and showed an updated valuation. I'm going to tell you exactly the steps I did in just a second. But basically, I recorded my screen. I sent this unsolicited five to 10 minute video CMA out to people and basically just gave them an update of their value. The impact of this was that of those 72, I ended up listing over $11 million between the time that I started that first, let's see, October, November, December, 1st of October, until I transitioned into the position I'm in in May now. Listen, $11 million worth of listings. Also, not only was it $11 million, I sold because, listen, the market what wasn't like what it is now at that time. I didn't sell everything because some of it was priced a little difficult and some of it had some challenges. But I sold $9.1 million worth of listings directly from these. When I broke this down, every single time I did one of these, it only takes you about 30 minutes. And as you do more of them, it gets even less than that. Each one of those was worth about $3,600 per hour the time I spent doing those. Listen, if there's an activity, let's just say my average price is higher probably than most places in the country. Let's say yours is half of mine. Imagine having an activity that $1,800 per hour that you could do. Would you do more of them? I know I would. And so I want to share with you exactly how I did this. So let's talk. We talked about who we were going to have. Now let's talk about how we're going to do this, okay? The first step is this. Before I would actually record my screen, I wanted to have a few things pulled up and queued up into my, really into my browser. I wanted to have a basically Google Earth pulled up with the address stopped and ready to be plugged on once I started this. The reason why I liked Google Earth is it made me look fancy, to be honest. It gave me the opportunity really for people to say it would catch their attention. 
because what it would do is, is it would actually come in and a second that I would start the video, I would click on their address and Google Earth would do this whole thing where it comes into Earth and comes right on top of their house and is moving around on top of their house. It's super cool. It makes it look like you've done this high tech thing that nobody else has probably done for them. And immediately they recognize their house and they want to know more. So they stay on this video with that. The second thing that I did in the tab that I would have pulled up is I would have a tab pulled up from the local MLS that would have the active pending sold compared properties. Now I've got them right in front of me, so I don't have to remember all of these details. I've got it right there. Next tab would be a CMA. The CMA basically was taking that data where I could basically break it down to the three or four of the best comparable sales that I had that would give us an idea of what their house might be worth. The next step I had and what I had pulled up then was an estimated net sheet. So here's what the estimated seller net sheet looks like. It is basically, I just did it with a Word document. It's pretty plain, straightforward. And it said estimated seller net. That's what it said right up in the top in the middle. And it said estimated selling price. I'm going to use this because it makes the numbers easy. $1 million. Then I did the typical closing cost in our area, which in our area is the um, documentary stamps on the deed and the broker's commission. So what I would put is, is I would say documentary stamps on the deed. In our case, $7,000. Broker's commission, 5% in this case. $50,000. That's a right below that. I would say total estimated closing costs, $57,000. Now, what are we looking at? Then I would say under, below that, I would say estimated net to seller, excluding prorations for taxes and for HOA fees and some small closing costs and any mortgage payoff would be. And then I have estimated there $943,000. Now, think about this. I'm putting a hard number in front of somebody. That gets their attention. Now I've given them that idea. These are the things that I'd have pulled up on my screen. Now let's talk about how I would record my screen and how I would communicate this value to those folks. So listen, there are a number of ways that you can record your screen. I used BombBomb. BombBomb is probably one of my favorite tools because what's great about it is when I would email these to the folks, it gave the ability that it starts this GIF or GIF or whatever you call it, you know, where it starts in motion and it would have the video in the email and it would immediately begin that GIF or GIF going down to their property. Immediately they could recognize that's my property. They couldn't help it. They'd have to push play. But listen, if you're at a place, we're all using Zoom now. Just record your screen, just party of one on Zoom. Basically set up a meeting for yourself, go in there, record your screen, and then you can have a link either through what you do recording it there or uploading it to YouTube or whatever you're using as far as that goes. Zoom's a great option. It's a free option. BombBomb's got a little cost, but I'll tell you this, BombBomb has so many applications in there that were so helpful for me. Uh, I would not necessarily consider not doing it with Zoom or with BombBomb right now in my personal business. So once we started recording my screen, basically the way the process started with those tabs I had pulled up was the first tab I would hit would be that, I would go to that address and I would click on that. Immediately starts that rotation down with Google Earth, gets them to that. I'm in the corner. My face is in the corner of the screen. They can see their property, and I'm talking to them out of that corner of the screen. I'm like, hey, I just want to give you guys an update on where your value is. The market is ridiculous right now, and you may be surprised with what I'm about to share with you about how high your value is. I start with that, just really setting the tone. Basically, I'm just giving them value. And then I pull up. The next step I pull up is, is I will pull up, and I will – then go to the comparable sales. And I'll say, listen, what I've got here is, this is from our local MLS. I've pulled up all the houses that have sold, that are active, or that are un currently under contract that are comparable to yours in your neighborhood in the last three months. Then I go through and I say, now what I've done is, I've actually taken all of these numbers and I've gotten it down to the best three comparable sales to your house that I can find right now to give me an idea of where this value is. Then I go to the CMA and I start walking through and I say, hey, this is what's going on. If I have information on any of those sales, I give them background information. I tell them when it's sold. I tell them how much it's sold price per square foot. I tell them how it compares to theirs. This one has one extra bedroom. Yours has a pool, theirs doesn't. Maybe this one has two car garage and yours has one, whatever it is, so they can see where I'm making adjustments. Then I say, based on these, I want to give you an estimate of where your value is. I haven't been in the house in a little while. So if you're curious, I'm going to give you a range of about $50,000 where this value is. Literally, if you're curious about exactly what your house would sell for, it take me five minutes to walk through the house and I can update this for you. I'll give you a free no obligation to update on exactly where it is. Whether you guys are thinking about selling or not, I think it's just great at this time coming where we've been through in the last year and where we are now for you to be able to know exactly where your value is. The next step is I take them to the estimated net, and I just simply say this. I say, listen, whether you're thinking about selling or not, it's great to always know where you are financially in your investment or in your home because it's one of the biggest assets you'll have in many cases. So 
This is the estimated net sheet. Listen, in our market, the typical closing costs are this. This is not an exact number. It's an estimation because there's going to be some small closing fees like recording your deed. There's going to be some things that are going to come up, and you're going to have some prorations of your taxes and your mortgage payoff, but this gets you a good idea of roughly what you can expect. I go through the closing costs. I give them the bottom line number, and then I always end the video with this. I simply say, I hope this gives you a better feel for where your value is now. Listen, whether you're thinking about selling or not, it's a great place. If you're curious about your value in the future, you can always come back and see where it was today by going up, searching in your email for valuation analysis. I put that in that. So when I was sending this to them, it would be like their address, valuation analysis update. Catches their attention, also gives an easy search term where they can go back and they could watch this. One of the great tips with Boom but with Bomb Bomb, and one of the reasons why I love it so much is that it actually gives us the ability, you can have it set up where if somebody clicks on that, whether it's two years from now, two weeks from now, it's going to let me know that they've clicked on that. So now I know two years from now, if that person goes back and looks at their valuation, even if I haven't heard from them, odds are they're starting to think, well, I wonder what my house is worth. Ding. Now we've got an opportunity to reach out to them and say, hey, it's been a little while since I checked in on you guys. Hope you're doing well. Y'all still loving the house. You'd be amazed at what that conversation, what it leads to as far as listing opportunities. So now let me give you the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey used to say. What's great about this is, is this has a tail in your business that you can't have with other impacts. The last time I did these really actively was in that fourth quarter of 2018. 2020, during the pandemic, I had clients reach out to me that I'd done those for in 2018 that I ended up doing business in excess of $4 million worth of listings and then selling those folks a new house after they sold the one they had that they listed with me. $4 million. And I hadn't done and spoken to any of those people in excess of a year and a half in many cases. So what does this look like for you? Is there anything you can think of that could be more impactful than letting homeowners know that their value's gone up, giving them value now and in the future? For me, I'm not sure of a better way that you can add value to those folks in a way that keeps you top of mind and make sure that when the time comes, they give you a call. So as you prepare your daily schedule and as you're beginning to understand that we need to systemize our business, I would highly encourage you, make sure you're doing one a week. Make sure you're doing one a day if you really want to make an impact. But whatever it is for you, start plugging it in. I promise if you'll start doing at least one a day, it'll be amazing how much business you'll do on the listing side, which leads to on the buyer side as well. And in this market environment, typically it leads to opportunities to double side those deals. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. All right, that is it. But did everybody hear that okay? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, so I I literally heard this just this week and it was on another call talking about the strategy. And I think it's genius because it's unsolicited, but it holds value for the homeowner, right? So you can bust that out. And, you know, he said he does it in what, 30 minutes. Um, if you could streamline that process, I think it'd be well worth doing one a day. Um, if you could maintain that and, um, another cool tool to be able to record your screen that has a free option. If you have a pen handy, write this down. It's called loom L O O M. And it's similar to bomb bomb, but it's web-based. You can just do it on their website. So, um, a super cool tool to be able to record video and and do one of these CMAs. So, you know, just kind of recapping, he's talking about past clients that he's helped already, giving them an update on what their value is in a video format. And then also any leads that you've come across in the last few years that expressed any interest at all in selling. Um, and that kind of illustrates the power of your database too, and making sure that you're logging everybody that you talk to, making sure um, you're indicating if they ever want to sell or if they've been thinking about it. So that's all I had for you guys today. I, I wanted to make it a quick call because again, I know everyone's busy. Um, any feedback? Do you guys like it? Man, that yeah, was that a was ton awesome. of value. Yeah. Pretty good, right? And, yeah. and, just, and just breaking it down, I've been thinking about this a lot lately because I've been working on my time blocking and there's a few projects that I'm working on that when I think about it, it just sounds so overwhelming, but I really like the strategy of doing, and it has a nice ring to it too, a CMA a day. So if you could just break off 30 minutes and do one of these a day, 
I think it would have a really good engagement and good good results, you know, especially in this market where I think that we're seeing values creep back up because of competition and low inventory. So I, I think it's a good value add and I wanted to share it with you guys. If I can add a lot of times, like when you're doing stuff like this, it like attracts the sellers. Like it may not be the person you do the CMA for, but all of a sudden you get that phone call and they're like, Hey, I want to know what my home mm -hmm. value is. Or I've been thinking about selling and like puts it out there and it attracts that it's energy. That energy going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. And it just makes you more knowledgeable because if you're doing one a day, like you're going to be dialed in. And when you talk to a seller or just, a, you know what I mean? You're just like spitting this stuff out because you're doing it every day. And I mean, I don't do CMAs a day, uh, but I'm dang sure going to start. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's a really good exercise to sharpen our skills too, right? I, I think that's really good. Um, and uh, like you said, putting that energy out there, even while you're doing this in the process of it, you could turn it into a social media post, you know, just do a quick story or a video um, and then post it and just be like, Hey, here's one thing that I'm doing for my past clients right now. I'm sending them an updated valuation and net sheet. If they did want to sell, this is the type of equity or profits that they're looking at. And then, like you said, that could attract um, people outside of your, your sphere of influence. So cool. I'm super glad you guys could join today.